My name's Aaron, welcome back to my channel. How are you? I'm fantastic and I'm doing really well. And today I have a really exciting fragrance that was sent to me. And also I'm going to do a little bit of discussion about where I see perfumery going in the future. I've been sent a 1980s Coco Chanel. So there really isn't any information about what it is or the cost. So I'm going to read the latest version of the notes from the Chanel site and then we'll get into the review and we'll get into the discussion. So the cost is about a hundred pounds for a hundred mil. The notes are Mandarin, Jasmine Absolute, Ilang Ilang, thought it said from the Cosmos, uh, Orange Blossom, Patchouli, Tonga Bean and Benzoin. So I doubt you've got fragrance samples of this but if you have, let's have a look. I'm very excited to be reviewing something from the 1980s and thank you so much uh, to one of my amazing unicorns who sent this to me. Do we have our fragrance samples? Are we engaged with the higher self? Let's get testing. So I spent uh, this morning doing a little bit of reading because I, the question I got asked quite a lot is how can companies in America sell traditional fragrances and in the EU, we can't use oak moss and lyrill anymore. And oak moss has been prohibited due to two raw materials. Apparently this is all to do with sort of EU laws and SCCS and IFRA, the sort of the, all these sort of bodies are smashing the traditional perfume, which personally I find incredibly frustrating. Very, very sad. Anyway, on to the review. So this just smells of, it has that 1980s smell to it. It is glorious and incredibly strong. I mean, I'm hit with, I'm going incredibly tingly actually. I'm hit with sweet floral, sort of jammy. It's very high in allergenic compounds. So I'd imagine uh, this is a shadow of its former self. This is particularly delightful. This is a Chepre Oriental classic Chanel and you're just smelling high levels of Cumarin, high levels of vanillin. This is masses, I'm tinkling massively, this is masses of a compound called benzyl salicylate masses, which is an allergen. We have to label it. And it is sweet and floral and that is giving this that sort of oomph. Heady on gives that heady jasmine top note. Oh, this is glorious. This this is just massively high in allergens and it's incredibly exciting actually to smell something. And I think the uh, the difference between this and an update version, this just smells full throttle grab you around your throat as a fragrance. Musk heavy as well. I love musk heavy formulations. So this I would imagine is also using musks which are um, prohibited now. And there's one interesting musk called musk xylene. And I have some of these raw materials in my factory actually, but uh, we can't use them. Musk xylene can be converted into TNT because the nitrile groups or something. I did a little bit of reading on sort of that as well. I sort of I knew what I was going to expect thinking back to the 80s, what would be in it and it's going to be all prohibitive stuff. And these uh, nitromus give a powdery feel. This is massively high in musk, uh, the sort of the ketone musk and the uh, xylene musks as well. It has a peachy quality, which is the aldehydes in it as well. Masses of uh, bergamot and orange and all of that stuff. So this is high in naturals and probably would fail all its regulatory paperwork now actually, because it's just too high. Glorious, traditional, beautiful French perfume. It's really blown my head off my shoulders. One thing I want to say as well is that the one thing I have noticed is some men prefer floral fragrances. And the reason for that is they tend to be sweet clean and floral and actually on this this just smells of like ice creaminess and it doesn't really smell all female to me and actually i made a mistake last year with goddess because men really like it and 
so I'm actually renaming it because and I personally love wearing floral fragrances because real floral absolutes just smell gorgeous on to my final thoughts this fragrance is glorious beautiful hypnotic entrancing sensual classic perfumery peachy quality is just gorgeous and you have masses of naturals in this this is naturals this is uh, mosquitoes this is full of sensitizers now this takes me on to the second part of this video where i see perfumery going and all the rest of it i think personally speaking that all these regulations are decimating the perfume industry and i fear for where perfumeries going I think it's incredibly sad and like with the oak moss because the two raw materials and because between one to three percent of users getting this dermal irritation we're not allowed to use it and oak moss is a glorious raw material i have some that i'd like to use i've thought about where perfume is going and i think in 30 years time we will have uh, naturals being removed i think we will have limoline linalol all of these things being removed and it's almost like you will not be able to find fragrances like this nuclear gorgeous heavy duty fragrances that i think so not for everyone but i think i mean this is following me around glorious and gorgeous it's just perfect symmetry and the powderiness is just particularly beautiful and i think it's very very sad because i think you allow cigarettes which kill people yeah, you allow alcohol, which causes liver problems, but you won't allow things like laurel, and you won't, which has been used for such a long time, and you won't allow oak moss to be used, and you won't allow a high percentage of naturals to be used because of over-regulation. And I was reading as well that apparently there's now going to be something like between 80 and 90 raw materials that have to be added on there, which are allergenic. And I think that's ridiculous. And I would personally love to see warnings been put on the box and allow perfume companies to use what they want to use that's more adult and i think that should be up for discussion and i think it's kind of shocking that there are regulatory bodies decimating the perfume industry and french perfume relies quite a lot on oak moss the problem is when you remove these two compounds by fractional distillation the cost is going to go up and all these labeling the cost is going to go up so how i see it is things are going to be made weaker the cost of fragrance will go up because if we have to have 80 compounds and all these things on it the cost gets passed on the onto the consumer and i think it's a shame and i would prefer to see people making their own decision people making their own mind about what they want and i think if you are allergic to oak moss i think you should have a warning on the website this contains oak moss if you're allergic to oak moss if you're allergic to lyrol if you're allergic to this and incidentally i'm thinking about releasing a a nuclear updated 1980s version of a fragrance so that's what i would love to do we've sort of got the name and everything and but we wouldn't be able to release it in the uk or eu because I couldn't get it or the regulatory paperwork, it would fail. And if that fails, I don't get the insurance to sell it. But in America, it's slightly different. And so if I did this updated 1980s fragrance, if you get what I mean, I could sell it only in America and we're thinking about doing it. Or we could sell it as a, a room freshener because as long as it doesn't go on the skin, there may be ways around for us to do it, but I really want to do something like that. I personally hope that things change for the better. And I really think fragrance companies need to start fighting back against all these EU laws and if and all that. I think we need to allow consumers to make the decision. We aren't all babies and we don't all need covering in cotton wool. You know, people can make an adult informed decision. And it's like if you know that you're allergic to nuts, you're not going to buy something that contains nuts. And I think we really need to start offering this to people. I'll get the remarks with it. I mean, this is a 10. I just think it's uh, incredibly beautiful, gorgeous. And maybe I'm sort of swayed because it sort of so, seems so naughty and because it seems so high in naughty allergens that I particularly, the naughty part of me, thinks it's fantastic and quite amazing. 
and I haven't got a reaction and I haven't blown up or nothing weird's happened to me. So I think all these regulations are awful, actually. So we love that slightly different review. Thank you so much for the sample. It is glorious to smell something so uh, amazing and I consider it the pinnacle of Chanel. So hope you're having a great day. Hope you're looking after yourself. Thumbs up and subscribe for more fascinating, interesting content. Lots of moving hands, lots of fragrance reviews. Hope you're staying safe and well. I'll see you soon.